In this video, we will learn how to record and measure hail. But before we get started, remember, only attempt to observe hail from a safe location. Inside looking out is great, but during severe hail, standing next to a window may not be safe. And we always say, safety always first. Because hail is an uncommon occurrence in most places, you'll want to keep these tools handy for when the opportunity to measure arises. A ruler, a pencil, and some Kokoraz hail report cards. You can find these by going to our website, www.kokoraz.org, and clicking on the printable forms link on the left banner. Click on the hail form link to print some out. If you don't have a hail report form handy, try writing down as much information about the hail as possible on a scratch piece of paper. A hail pad is another instrument we use, but we will go more in depth on that later. Reviewing the hail card, we see what information we are looking for. The times that the hail begins and ends are very important pieces of information needed by scientists. Take your notes from a safe and secure location while the hail is falling. After the storm, and only when it's safe, you can go outside with your ruler and measure the diameter of the largest, the smallest, and the most common sized hailstones. If you do not have a ruler handy, you can make educated guesses using these objects listed on the form for comparison. Also, check to see if the hail is clear, white, hard, soft, smooth, rough, or has any other interesting properties. Take note if the hail began before, after, or at the same time that rain began, and write other notes that may be pertinent to the storm. Most people don't have a hail pad deployed, but having one is certainly a bonus. So don't worry if you don't have a hail pad, you can still submit a hail report, and the information will still be valuable. Once you've filled out your hail report card, you'll want to enter the data on the website in the hail report form. Ideally, the best time to report hail is right after it happened, as these reports get sent straight to the nearest National Weather Service office in real time and allow them to make better and quicker predictions and warnings. However, it may not be safe to be on the computer due to nearby lightning, so make sure to wait until the storm passes. You can also use a hail pad to measure hail. There are instructions on the Kokoraz website on where to pick up and drop off hail pads, or how to make your own, but essentially they are one inch thick pieces of styrofoam, 12 inches by 12 inches, wrapped in extra heavy duty aluminum foil. The surface should be tidy and flat without wrinkles, and the back is secured by packing tape. If you've already found a good place for your rain gauge, Chances are it will be a good unobstructed place for your hail pad as well. The hail pad should be placed horizontally, foil side up, level to the ground. It can be elevated or put on the ground, but either way, make sure to find a way to secure it well, or else they will easily blow away. Many people use their snowboard with some hooks to secure it in place. Also, before you secure it, be sure to write your station number on the back and mark the side facing north with an N. After the hailstorm, when you are filling out your hail report card, you can try your hand at some data analysis by counting the number of indentations on your hail pad. This is optional, but it can be a fun exercise. Hail pad or not, it is most important that you submit an online report. If you do have one, please make sure to attach your hail report card to the back of the hail pad and send it in for analysis by an expert. You can either drop it off at a hail pad collection location or mail it to this address. If you are unable to drop off or mail the hail pad, please photograph the pad and send it along with a copy of the hail card to info at kokoraz.org, putting the words hail pad in the subject line. If you see very large or very unusual hailstones, take close-up photographs, collect some samples, preserve them in your freezer, and contact your Kokoraz coordinator. If you see intact hailstones in the excess of 5 inches in diameter, quickly and carefully wrap and freeze these stones. These are very rare and will be of great interest to scientists and the media alike. If you have any other questions about measuring hail, visit our website for more information or feel free to contact us at info at kokoraz.org.